So, I will start this video with this pull request that is not merged on master just yet, and it is really irrelevant to the main video topic, but whatever. What that does, is when we entering on overview, the 9 dots button is now separated from dash, and it is aligned on the left. Which kinda makes it feels like it belongs to the previous workspace. And anyway, point is we could get the calendar from up there, and move it down here. And then get this menu too, and place it next and having a nice panel. Because wherever there is a dock and desktops, there are ridiculous usability issues too. Always! To be fair though, GNOME Shell is really designed to work without this stupid dash, but GNOME developers are probably too afraid to remove it, because users will riot, even if none actually needs it. Okay, so that's gonna be one of the most useless videos you ever watched, but totally awesome if you care for the smallest of the UI stuff. So we have this pull request that it was merged on Master today and I'm gonna show you what exactly does. So when we're entering on overview we have shell dash, that is actually a floating dock. Why is floating? Perhaps it is inspired by Gone with the Wind movie, but nevertheless it causes a small issue. And most specifically there is a dead space under the dock and on the edge of the screen, so we can't make selections that easy with the mouse. And that's something apparently GNOME developers can't live with. So what happens after? is that we again have a floating dock, but this time, we can make selections under it, without actually touching it with the mouse. Is it working? Maybe. But certainly this is a fake and totally poorly made design. Which reminds me another common issue with GTK, and most specifically add weighted design. Let's assume we have a GNOME app open, like a text editor, and we have our window maximized. So here on the close button we have a small dead space around it, and in some cases when we don't have a top bar, people asking to hit the top corner and just click to close, which we currently can't. And we can also reproduce with the full screen state, that still there is a dead space on top buttons. Exactly like the shell dash before. So, someone does it wrong. Oh, speaking of GTK and Adweta, lib handy port to GTK4 will be renamed to lib Adweta. And it is a good idea to read this issue if you haven't yet. And speaking of lib handy, we have those improved swipes on shell 40 coming directly from GTK's mobile framework. By the way that's Alex's video. I keep dropping, all these hits and I know that they watching, they keep showing up in my place always knocking. Knock knock bitch, I've been standing right here, been over three years and then you just got here man. Get me a beer and open up the mirrors, let me show you now what you've been missing for years. Call it premiere, I can take a boy's name and smear, or take it up a gear, and end your career and make you feel fear, or make you disappear. Cause I am right here 